hello and welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how you can implement ads on your application using java in android studio so let's start this video in order to do that you have to go to google chrome you have to open admob.com you will find a direct link to that website in the description down below then you have to make your account on there then you will find this option on the side navigation bar known as apps let me zoom in for you you have to click here and you have to add your application here so let's add an application so in order to add application you have to go and simply click on the application then you will find this page it will ask you is your app on play store app store yet so my app store my app is not on app store and play store so i will say no then you have to add your application name so let's name it at test dot and you will have to select your platform android or ios then you have to find this new page congrats your ad mob has been created and it is the app id which will require you to implement ads on your application so remember that so next then you have to create ad ids you will find several five app ids here so i'm going to show you the banner id so let's select the banner id then it will redirect you to the nano page you have to name it in your app id banner one then you have you will find the additional settings here you can change it according to your preferences you can on your ecpm floor ecpm floor is nothing but how many times a ad is will be showing to your customers like 100 out of 60 people will see your ads it is the long to see the i will make another video for it and then you have to just simply click on the create add unit id then your app id will be ready then you have to just go and click on the email instruction button if you don't know how you to implement ads so i will implement ads i know because so that's why i'm here to show you so now your google chrome part is almost done you have to go and open your android studio new application so let's open android studio so let's create another application new application new project empty activity then application name will be a test then hit finish or you can change the api level i'm using api level 14 or 17 so let's finish the configuration your project page then it will load your page so gradle finish has been synced then you have to go to on your tools bar and then you will find a firebase you have to click on firebase then you'll find the side navigation bar to open you have to select add more player or you can select anything according to your preferences you have to go and connect to your firebase account just click on the connect to add more firebase it will redirect to your firebase you have to just create a new project let's name the project at test then you have to just simply click on the continue option and your app will be created continue and accept all the formalities create project it will create your project After connecting you have to go to android studio again then you have to apply the dependencies by clicking on the add add mob to your app you have to accept the app accept changes button it will automatically start the gradle sync
so the gradle thing is now finished you have to go to your strings page and you have to just add another value so let's make an another value resource file you have to name it anything you want just remember it so i am i am giving it a name add add you have to just remove all and then you have to just paste this this is the guys test unit id don't use the real id in the testing phase of your app google will simply ban you if he finds using your real id in your emulator now so let's go to another toolbar then i will show you what you, you have to do to just simply go to toolbar again firebase add mob you have to implement the ads in your xml file so you have to just simply copy this and then above code also you will find the code in my website blog in the description down below so let's go and paste it here so it's time for the java main activity class to write the code you have to initialize your add view first you have to go to add view equals find view by id then you have to write add request add request equals to new add request dot builder dot build then m add view is equals to load add request it is the full code you have to do and last and the least is you have to add and something in your manifest in order to show the ads so let's let me show so you this what is what you have, you have to add, add on a manifest file and you will find the app, app id from your google ad mob you have to just simply change the app id here and your app is ready doing this you will find you will get an email from your ad mob account saying that you are ready for firebase linking you have to go to app setting you have to link your firebase in order to show application on your signed apk guys in your debug application you will not find any real ads you have to make in signed apk for it in order to get shown so thanks for watching guys i hope you like this video please go and share this video like subscribe